where you're going to find most of your the cool stuff that you're going to put in your home tiki bar are going to come from lots of disparate places and not anywhere that just you know where you're just going to walk in and just find it so going in with an open mind which is what you should go anytime you're vintage shopping or an open mind an open mind and an open wallet right hey hey, right open wallets are great i like those too Welcome to another episode of the Tiki Golf Club, and today we are at Jamie's Place of Business. Yes. What's the name of this place? Uh, We are at Persnickety Vintage in downtown Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington, not BC. No, this is in America. This is in America. They take American (laughs) money. No loonies, no new... No, wait, do you guys take Canadian money? No, No, we don't take Canadian money. No, but I mean, you, you will take can you, you will take donuts from Tim Hortons though. With that, no, I'll take. Can, I'll t- <laughs> Where we're at is actually just north of Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I mean, we're like just literally right on the other side. Of the yeah, bridge. you go over the bridge and boom, you're in Oregon. Yeah. In fact, the, the Alibi Tiki Bar is 15 minutes away from where we are right now. Really? It really is. Literally 15 minutes away. Literally we, 15 minutes away. What we're going to talk about today? Well, what Jamie's going to talk about is that a lot of the treasures you're going to find is they're going to be at antique stores. They're going to be at vintage shops. Yeah, like when you're when you're outfitting your home tiki bar, you you're not just going to go. I mean, if you're like a, a person with a vision, you're not going to just go to like the tiki bar store. And yeah, there's no buy yeah. all the stuff. Yeah, well, yeah I guess Party <laughs> City. Really if you right. want to go down that road, but that's a great point. There's no tiki store that you go to, so you have to kind of go and see what works and what doesn't work. Because I remember, like, I was at a Value Village, right? mm-hmm. and I was walking around. And then I found this bamboo bridge platform thing. It was definitely more Asian than anything. Mm-hmm. You know, it stood about this high, this high. It's about this big. And I saw it, and it was like $35. I remember seeing it and thinking like, okay, I don't know what it is, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it right now, but it's coming home with me. Mm-hmm. And I came, I brought it back to my place, and that's where I have my waterfall, my water feature in my bedroom. And I have, like, tiki's on and stuff like that. So sometimes, Oh, yeah, I've actually seen that yeah. when I've been up there. Yeah, so sometimes when it comes to looking for things, you kind of have to look outside the box to make things work, but sometimes it does work. Yeah, well, and I, I think that, like, that, like, exactly what you said, where you look at something and you're like, I don't quite know what that is, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it, but it, it works. Like, yep. I'm going to do something with it. Um, but I think that's a, a lot of, you know, that like kind of what you need to go into that thinking where mm-hmm. it's like it's not all going to be just handed to you. It's not like going to Ikea and you're like, I'll take this room, <laughs> you know, like you you're you're putting it together. And a lot of times like you don't know what something is going to be, yeah. but it's going to be the basis for something. You and know? you know what? And that I think that's what makes home tiki bars cool is that just that mindset where people see something and like oh well i thought that this would look cool in here it's like yes it does and that's what i like to see i like to see the originality and to see the creativity that people do so what you're gonna do is you're gonna we're gonna go around the store here Mm -hmm. and we're gonna you're gonna pull out some items that you could be like hey check this out this might work this is something that you could use for if you want to go goth you want to go tiki maybe a little bit of both yeah and how it, you can use these to put these in your tiki bar. Yeah. And I think the other um, thing that just uh, I want to put out there, um, you can kind of find these items in any kind of, like we're in, you know, one specific vintage store today. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about going to Val- Value Village, yeah. which is a thrift store. It's a thrift store. Um, and which are two different things. Um, but yeah. I think that, <laughs> I think it's important to note that like, you know, you're going to go into a store, you're probably not going to see anything. Like, you don't walk into Value Village and go like, oh, where's the tiki section? There's you're not going to no. walk into a, a, a vintage shop. Most of them are not going to have a section. Some might. If you're lucky, someone might group some of their... Um, some of that stuff Like, there's, you actually have a section over here that's kind of bamboo-ish. Definitely stuff that would be in a tiki bar, but we'll get there. Yeah, and that's... Um, if you're you know, lucky. <laughs> and that's because, like... I run the store, so like, of course, I'm gonna put the things that I like in it. But you know, I think like to... the stuff that you don't like, I think is stupid. Just a pile over there. <laughs> Before we go on our, on your little tour here, um, basic information about Persigny. What are your hours? 
what time are you guys open? What time do you yeah, close? Okay. Website, um, if there's one, Facebook yeah. page. So, um, again, we are in downtown Vancouver, Washington. We are on right on Main Street mm-hmm. um, at about 19th. The address okay. is 1911 Main Street. Um, we're open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, okay. and Sundays, 11 to 4. Um, we are, I post on Facebook and Instagram every day. Um, I bring new stuff in almost every single day, so I'm always like, you know, putting stuff out there. Um, but you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Persnickety Vintage. Like if you just type in Persnickety Vintage in the search box, will come up. Uh, you'll know it's us by the big black P in a circle. Kind of looks like a giant typewriter key. <laughs> So that's what you're looking for. Because I think that's what it is. Pretty much, yeah. yes. <laughs> so let's take a let's take a little tour around of this uh, of the shop and see what we can find. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> it's funny, like I like, hey, let's go. <laughs> We're going now. <laughs> so here we are in Persnickety Vintage. Um, and this is kind of what we were saying before, how when you walk into a store, either this store or a store like this one, and this is kind of your view when you first walk in you're not necessarily going to go, oh, I'm gonna find some tiki stuff here. It's, part of it's like the treasure hunt, you know, those things are lurking within. So we're gonna walk around the store and we're just gonna see what we can find that would fit into a tiki or goth tiki um, bar space. All right, so I always like cool frames. Uh, I really like them when they're empty because you can put whatever you want in them. <laughs> um, but something like this, this is just a black carved frame. I could see maybe a portrait of a creature from the Black Lagoon in it. Maybe you hang it the other way, have some ocean tiki vibes in there, whatever. But something like this, you could actually even put this around a light and just have like some cool glowy stuff happening in here. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with an empty frame besides put it around a picture. It can be a, come all kinds of stuff, something like that. So tiki bars often have cool, colorful light. Sometimes that's done with a colored bulb. Um, here we have, this is actually a green capiz shell pendant light or swag light. So this can be, um, this is actually just plugged in. You can hang that somewhere in your tiki room. We're looking at it in the daylight and it looks really cool green on a, this black wall. In a dark room, a light like this looks so cool. You can definitely find, find its home in a tiki bar. All right, so over here, this is a, a kind of a classic, you know, Sarnen style black tulip chair. It doesn't look necessarily tiki. Personally, I would put this in like a tiki bar. It's got the kind of space age, mid-century thing going on. But also, if you recover a seat like this and say some bar cloth, um, I think something like that could totally fit into a home tiki bar. We're going to swing right over here next. This is where I do have some sort of tiki or tiki adjacent thing set up. Um, a rattan bar. This is actually a little bit more of like, I think an 80s Golden Girls kind of a thing, but it's because it's got the smoked glass. Um, but as like kind of a sidebar, um, or even if you don't have space um, for a full tiki bar in your house, but you just want a little like bar set up, something like this works really well. We've also got all these, you know, sort of most of it's made in the Philippines, um, carved, you know, serving things, bowls, the classic, you know, tiered poo-poo platter kind of thing, rattan chairs, also this amazing room divider, <laughs> which I love. I could totally, that, there's nothing tiki about this, but I could see it in a tiki bar. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> All right, we're further in the store. We're in this sort of section with just, you know, tchotchkes. You're going to find these sections in any sort of vintage store. Um, and we've got a whole set of barrel mugs, which right now they're displayed with, you know, Mr. Davy Crockett here, so not looking very tiki, but you put these in a tiki bar and you've got, you know, those classic barrel mugs. Um, we're going to come right over here. And we've got other things that, well, maybe not necessarily overtly tiki well this is you know a bamboo candle holder i guess is a little bit more overtly tiki we've also got this sort of whitco-esque you know plant stand this is kind of like ray was talking about earlier like you look at something and you're like well i don't know what that is i don't know what i'm going to do with it 
but it's coming home. Something like this I think is great. This could be all kinds of things in a tiki bar. You could even turn that into a lamp. You could put some plants on it, put your favorite bottle of rum on top. <laughs> so many options on something like that. Again, think outside the box on what you're putting in there. All right, I've got some little um, cheeky barware over here. Um, this is my personal favorite. <laughs> Lay off. This is the old man's private stuff. This is where you're gonna put your very best rum. She's not gonna let you drink it unless you give her some too. Over here, we have, I don't know their uh, origin. They're not Whitco, but they, I would say they're Whitco-esque. I call them fork man and spoon man for obvious reasons. Um, but these are those sort of just those like, you know, big heavy carvings. These are from the 70s. Um, something like that could definitely find a home. We've got tiki shirts right over here, lots of vintage uh, clothing. We pan over here. Once you start looking through clothing, you can kind of find all sorts of things. You're often going to find, you know, vintage Aloha shirts, um, moo-moos. You come back here, even looking through a rack like this, you're going to find a little bit of something. I mean, I've even got a a black moo moo straight from Hawaii. So you want to get that goss tiki vibe, you can find it back in the clothing section of any any vintage store that also carries clothing. Um, we're back in another area that just has a lot of stuff. Um, anytime you're in like a vintage store, a lot of times there's going to be like an antique mall kind of situation where you're going into little booths. And so you're often going to come upon a space that's like this, where it's just like, there's just a bunch of stuff. Again, once you really start looking and thinking outside the box of, you know, what something can be um, or how something will fit um, within um, your home tiki bar. Um, so we can look at this whole area here. Um, actually, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, we actually have a tiki mug in here. Uh, it's not from anywhere. <laughs> this one isn't, you know, special. This is the kind of one that you can just drink out of and not feel scared to use it. <laughs> um, lots of other little barware sort of dotted through here. Other things that will absolutely work well within like a tiki bar space, like, you know, a, a planter. This could also be a place where you hold all your umbrellas, you know, things like that. Um, we've got swizzle sticks, including, hello, Menehune. Come over here. I want to see this set in somebody's goth tiki bar because to me, this looks like the world's most perfect Halloween drink set. <laughs> you can have eight of your friends over for cocktails. You got like this uh, orange and yellow, looks like a candy corn with a haunted house fence on it. I absolutely, if somebody, if somebody gets this and puts it in their goth tiki bar at home, gotta invite me over, I wanna use that. Um, also in thinking outside the box, you will always find lots of wood, trays, serving bowls, that sort of thing. I'm just gonna grab this one here. Um, you know, this is meant to be like a charcuterie tray, um, but get crafty with things. I've seen people put something like this, actually attach like a tiki to this and then hang it on the wall um, or paint something like this, hang it on the wall carve something like this. There's, this can be just sort of the starting point of really making your space your space by putting your own creativity and stamp on things. Um, same could be said for, you know, just a bowl like this, you know. What you do with it in your space is really going to make it stand out and make your tiki bar your own. And that's the kind of thing that you will literally find thrifting or antiquing anywhere. I'm down here on the floor because part of your tiki bar is the ambiance. Got to have some good tunes for that, right? So we've got a little bin of records here. Let's see what we find. Frampton Comes Alive. Not very tiki, not very goth. Let's flip through it. we got the village people. And, oh, what do we have? we got some Martin Denny tucked in there. We've got... Peter Gunn by Henry Mancini. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind if this was played in a tiki bar at all. A little more Martin Denny. You just never know what you're gonna find when you're flipping through a bin of records. 
So always look through, get those like good original old school tunes going in your tiki bar. All right, so we just did a really quick little shop through Persnickety Vintage. Um, wherever you're at, check your local vintage store and really look through, um, you know, don't be scared that you don't see the tiki section straight off the bat or, you know, look around, find those things that are going to work for you. You never know where you're going to find them. So you may be asking yourself, how can I join the Tiki Goth Club? Well, there is no membership. There are no fees, but I have shirts for sale. They're $20 a piece, $5 shipping and handling. If you're interested, go to my website, tikiwithray.com. There's a prompt that says buy a shirt, follow that, and then that's how you can get your own. So. Want to impress your goth friends the next time you come over to your Tiki bar? Serve them Mai Tais out of my Tiki Goth Club glasses. They're only $15. Head over to tikiwithray.com to buy your own.